Auburn getting ready to return home to Jordan Harris Stadium for a week 12 matchup with Alabama A&M and of course injuries a big topic this week. Gus Malzahn discussed it today in his press conference and bringing in now James Crapia on the planes to discuss that as well. And we got to go down the list. It seems like a lot of guys are injured. Key players Marcus Davis out for the season. Uh, Stanton Truett out this weekend. Chandler Cox out this weekend. Cam Petway out this weekend and then Sean White day to day. The list seems to go on and on. We'll start with Cam Petway. How big is this for him? to be healthy and rested to get back to the Iron Bowl? Well, obviously, it's very big. He's a leading rusher on the team. He's the most powerful back. Carryon Johnson, who will probably play at least a limited role this weekend against Alabama A&M. He was a starter to start the season. We know what he brings to the table as well. But Petway was certainly quite durable prior to this injury and very effective, very powerful. You want to have both of those guys ready to go, but particularly Petway up against a very stout Alabama run defense, best in the country. If you don't have both of them, that really takes away a lot of this rushing attack and what could be there. So having Petway back would be enormous. Without him, not to say that Auburn has no chance at all. Obviously, it's a rivalry game. Crazy things can happen. But it really, really hurts them offensively not to have him. Now, we talk about Sean White. Gus Malzahn, pretty vague about his status. Day-to-day -day right now, not ruling him out to start against Alabama and A&M. What are your thoughts there, and how important is it to keep him healthy, I guess, going into that Iron Bowl game? I think some of this is just being vague, just for being vague sake. Look, there's nothing to be gained for, for playing Sean White in this game whatsoever. Especially In general, really, there's nothing to be gained, especially when you're playing the Iron Bowl the following week. Then you factor in that he's hurt. Then you factor in that he aggravated the shoulder injury against Georgia. There is nothing to discern and nothing to be gained from playing Sean White in this week, other than if this was just a stubborn coaching staff who refused to take Sean White out when he was clearly hurt, clearly struggling in the second half against Georgia, if they're just trying to prove a point further by playing him at all against Alabama A&M just to further prove and defend themselves against what was really inexcusable in the second half against Georgia, keeping him in that football game. Realistically, there's nothing to be gained there. Whether White plays at all, plays limited or not, expect to see John Franklin in third play a lot of time, if not Jeremy Johnson as well, play a lot of time this weekend against Alabama A&M. Yeah, I was going to say it's senior night, so it's certainly a possibility that we will see Jeremy Johnson out there playing as well as he is a senior. My last question for you, you take Sean White off the list, you take Cam Petway off the list, both guys obviously critical for this offense and their produ uh, production. Aside from those two guys, who of the guys that are injured will be most critical in getting them back for this Iron Bowl game? Well, certainly Marcus Davis hurts. His production wasn't as high, and that's kind of disappointing for him this season. He's a senior as well, out for at least for the regular season. They're hoping he could be back for a bowl game, but out for the Iron Bowl as well. That's going to hurt, but at the same time, they have other wide receivers, and they're not a heavy passing offense. Stanton Truett being hurt, well, with Petway out and Truett being out as well, if he were to be out for the Iron Bowl, that would hurt because you'd be, again, down to possibly just carry on Johnson as a lead running back. If Even if you had Petway, you'd be down to two. You wouldn't have the third option in Truett. But I think the most important would be Chandler Cox because he's out there the most. He takes the most reps. And behind him at H-back, yes, you do have Jalen Harris, who's played the position a little bit, plays as a blocking tight end. But after that, they're extremely thin. You're talking about walk-ons, either Keenan Sweeney or other players there. And that's a very difficult position to ask a walk-on to possibly be playing in the Iron Bowl. That would be a lot. Now, Chandler played after being hurt. He played against Georgia after the injury. I think this is precautionary, and I think he's probably the most likely of that group to be back for the Iron Bowl.